Sussex on tenterhook. David Starkey takes brutal swipe at Harry teaming William to destroy Netflix stock. Dr. Starkey joined Nigel Farage on Tuesday to discuss King Charles's first Christmas speech. The King's decision to snub Meghan Markle and Prince Harry from his Christmas Day address was praised by the historian who predicted the couple could be soon banished completely if they don't work towards a reconciliation. Nigel began, interesting, wasn't it? He talked about the Prince and Princess of Wales visiting Wales, no mention of Harry, no mention of Meghan. Are they effectively banished? David replied, until there's a reconciliation, which seems infinitely unlikely, the answer is yes. And do you know what? I think rightly so. They have played the game, a footsie game of one foot in, one foot out. You can't do it. It was done as it were by silence, the historian concluded. It wasn't done by explicit banishment. This is not the treatment of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. But you know what? It may eventually have to be. Nigel interjected, we've had the six-part Netflix series, we've got this book coming out spare but after that, they've said all they can say, surely? The broadcaster answered, you're underestimating their capacity to turn a molehill into the Himalayans. A tiny speck of grievance becomes this Vesuvius of resentment. It's an extraordinary achievement. It's a kind of genius, but it's a really destructive genius. I used to make the joke that Harry had married his mother. Unfortunately, he married his mother with all the destructive aspects of Diana and none of the constructive ones. It's a horrible, painful parody, that relationship, and profoundly damaging. In Charles's address to the nation, he mentioned that Prince William and Kate Middleton had visited Wales. Netflix's docuseries Harry and Meghan released recently talks about the relationship of the couple. In fact, the docuseries shows in detail the relationship of Meghan and Harry who left their roles as senior members of the British royal family and moved to the USA. They surely wanted to tell their side of the story and why they took the step of moving out of the royal family. It is very evident from the images and the videos of Meghan that she was going through emotional and mental stress because she was from mixed race and not a white. Meghan Markle tried hard to fit in whether it was her choice of clothing, her mannerism, but it looked that show was always criticized by the royal British press and the royal family who never accepted her. It looked all fun and happy on the exterior, but the docu-series Harry and Meghan clearly shows the torture that she was going through. We all know that UK has never addressed their very prominent role as builders of the slave trade and the docu-series shows that clearly. Meghan's friends and family members saw how deeply in love she was with Prince Harry, but they somehow knew how racism is dominant in Britain and the royal family is no exception to it. In fact, her mother from the very beginning told Meghan from the very beginning about the negative media coverage that she was getting is all because of racism in Britain. Talking about racism in the docuseries Meghan explains Meghan explains how she suffered in the royal British family because of her mixed genes and being a coloured woman. Obviously now everyone is aware of my race because they made it such an issue when I went to the UK, she says. But before that most people didn't treat me like a black woman, so the talk didn't have to happen for me, says Meghan, comparing her situation to her mother's by recalling how she heard her being called the N-word by a stranger when she was a child. The docuseries also shows the images of Princess Michael of Kent wearing a black Amore style brooch to a Christmas lunch attended by Meghan in 2017. Though the princess later apologized, but it was very clear how insensitive the British are when it comes to people of darker skin tones. When it comes to people of. <laughs>